All right, guys, I'm back with a new video, and today we're going to go over sorting small primer and large primer brass. It took me a while, but I found a big bag of small primer brass, uh, 45, uh, mixed. I had to buy it. The lengths I go for you guys. Anyhow, we're going to set this up. I've made some improvements to the software, um, to the machine. There's been some user feedback and trying to incorporate some of that. So we're gonna to switch to the desktop here and have a look at the new changes in the software. And then we'll go over how we're gonna filter out the brass. All right, we're in the software now and we're gonna go ahead and set up a new model for our large small primer detection. So in the configuration tab, we'll go to new under the cartridge we wanna use. And here we'll give it a name. Then you'll notice another option here for primer only, and then we have a primer mask size. This should actually be um, probably primer crop size, but I'll figure that out later. Anyhow, we'll hit create, and now we have our new uh, model created, and now we need to train it. So I'm gonna train about 20 of each um, type, the large and small primer. And then we'll see what kind of results we get with that. So I've already loaded the small primer into the feeder at this point. So let's go ahead and I know we're going to want some head stamps. We're going to want blank. We're going to want small and large. All right. And we'll enable use rotations and let's just hit feed. All right, so we have blank. So let's choose blank and we'll add that. It's always a good idea just to train blank anyhow. So you'll see the, uh, the original image and then we've cropped just the primer section out. So these are all gonna be small. And I'll fly through this pretty fast because I know they're all small. We'll add blank one more time for good measure. Now I'm going to uh, switch this out and put about 20 large in and uh, train those. Okay, we're back. We have the large loaded up. And you can see the primer looks a little different in the um, processed image. There's not really the ring around it because we're really looking at the outside edge. I needed to line up my bucket better here. Let's see. Okay, so we'll set that to large. And we'll add those images. Same thing. Occasionally you'll get one that didn't process. It was too dark, the brass was dirty. Um, that's one of these. I'm not going to add that to the training set. I'll just feed past it. It also really helps if you clean the brass. This brass is fairly dirty. Okay. We'll go ahead and save the training. And I'm going to load up about I'll say 25 of each type, small and large, uh, but use a different 
chunk of brass, not the stuff that we just trained through. So I'll use brass that hasn't been trained and we'll see how well uh, the results are with just the small training set. Okay, we got the hopper loaded up with 25 of each. So I'm gonna go ahead and feed a couple, get the system primed and we're ready to go. So in the run menu, we'll go ahead and choose, I'll well, say large will be one, uh, small will be two, and we'll just set everything else to blank. Okay, so we're pretty much ready to go. See how it works. Either my math was terrible, <laughs> it looks like it was, I might have miscounted how many I put in there. Um, well, actually four blanks, so those don't count. So actually I did get it right, 50 in there. Looks like we have a little bit of error, um, erring on the side of large, but I'm gonna go ahead and we'll count up the actual um, results and I'll come back to you with that. Okay guys, I've tallied up the results and uh, pretty much what we saw on the counter on the software was correct. There was 24 small, and they were all picked up correctly, the 24 that were there. Um, we had one false negative, meaning it wasn't detected. So of the large, 25 of 25 were detected, and we had one false positive, which was a small. And so looking at those, this is our our false positive, the rest were detected correctly on the large and then on the small, um, 24 out of 25. So that's with a very small uh, training set. I think with a little bit better or, or a larger training set, we could get much higher. But I, even with that small set, I'm optimistic because that's in the realm, I, I'm gonna say 96% um, accuracy. Um, those of you who are statisticians will probably crucify me on that, but um, I think uh, <laughs> at roughly 96% correct um, or better. So um, yeah, I'm happy about this. While I was looking at it, I noticed a couple things that I didn't mention. You may have noticed that the tubes are gone. Um, one of the users or one of the, the subscribers to the channel had sent me some um, information, some stuff he is working on. Uh, he's taken this project and really um, started improving it. And one of the ideas he had had, I kind of borrowed it here, similar, but it was just uh, having a single feed tube and not having um, to have the sort of made up at 45 degrees, but actually have it dropped down. So I sort of retrofitted mine into two pieces. That way um, they would be able to slide through with a couple uh, keeper screws. But the other thing I made, which is a huge improvement, um, is I've narrowed the diameter of these tubes. So the original tube, I think if we look at them side by side, the original tubes didn't print nice because they were thin wall, but the other problem was with 45, they'd be exactly the exactly the width to get jammed up in these tubes. So I figured 
you know, I had the same problem when I was doing nine millimeter and my solution was to go bigger. But I think actually after thinking about it and remembering that I've never seen anything jam up in this skinny little tube, I decided to go smaller. So smaller diameter, I've gone as uh, big as I can where nine millimeter won't get sideways in it. That also facilitates feeding much larger brass like uh, 308. And so yeah, 308 will drop down through this, no problem. I think that's about the largest I'm set up to sort right now, but um, really a great idea. So thank you, Henrik. Awesome. Well, that's all I have. Hope you guys have a great day.